Look at them over there by the bus stop. They're so beautiful, aren't they? We should go over and introduce ourselves. Pretend that we're waiting for the same bus. Although, then we'd be starting a relationship with dishonesty. <laughs> well, why not go the extra mile and actually board the bus? We're already, we're already pinning after this person like a lovesick fool. It's not like we have anything better to do with our time. Hush, you. There's nothing wrong with admiring them from afar. Carefully planning our next move. Or we could kidnap them. And then we'll have all the time in the world to admire them. We'll never be able to get away. Lucifer. That's a horrible thing to suggest. What kind of maniac kidnaps their crush? An efficient one, Angie. Think about it, buddy. If you go over there and mess it up, you'll lose them forever. They'll walk out of your life. There's a damn thing you can do about it. Don't listen to him, darling. He's a bad influence on you. Hopefully. Sure. If you make a bad first impression, it may not go down well. But there's always a second chance. Maybe even a third. People can surprise you. And she's right. People can surprise you. And sometimes, surprises can be nasty. What if they find a partner before you introduce yourself? What if they get on that bus and the person of their dreams pulls up? That's not what I... Buddy, you won't get another chance like this. Look around you. This place is a ghost town. <laughs> it's just like them at the bus stop. Alone. Vulnerable. Plus, don't forget there's no CCTV in this area. No witnesses. It's not about if anyone sees us or not. It's about ethics and morals, darling. Let's say for a moment that we were going to entertain Lucifer's ridiculous idea. You don't actually have a way to make it happen. You're a good person. You don't have the means to restrain someone and drag them into your house. Our house is right around the corner. <laughs> I'm sure any chemicals can knock some out if you mix them right. Oh, great. So now we're poisoning them too? What if it goes wrong, Lucifer? What if we really hurt them? <sighs> okay, fine. So no chemicals. And she does have a point there, I guess. But there's no harm in just tossing it bang over the head and using that. Along with the element of surprise to drag them backwards into the house. There's a risk of asphyxiation for starters. I can't believe you're even considering this. You should simply talk to them like a normal person. It's all going to be okay. There's no need for anything drastic or crazy. Just be yourself. Go out there. Sit next to them, but not too close. And maybe strike up a conversation. Or not. That's fine, too. <sighs> First encounter is just so awkward. You end up fumbling your words, sweating through your clothes, coming on too strong, or not being noticed at all. Your mouth goes dry, your voice breaks when you try speaking, and they're all gonna think that you're a nobody that isn't worth their time. What if you do things my way? There won't be any awkwardness, no attention, no jitters. You can just approach them casually once you've obtained them, and then address them calmly. Yes. Because all of the best romance stories start with Who are you? What do you want? And why are you doing this? And you know the answer to all three. Buddy, introduce yourself, explain your intentions, 
Express your motivation. See how easy that is? Rather than having to worry about unexpected questions, you can pretty much guarantee that those are the ones coming your way. Nobody in their right mind is going to just accept those answers. Regardless of what you say, they'll be panicking, desperate to get away from us. We'll have ruined all chances of being with them. That's the beauty of the plan, Angie. They can't get away. Nobody likes their captors at first. But what do you think Stockholm Syndrome is? A coping mechanism? An opportunity. I didn't say it was going to be easy. But isn't love worth fighting for? This isn't love. It's insanity. But it's insanity that has stayed between us. Nothing has actually happened yet. The situation is entirely under control, which means it's not too late for you to put your best foot forward and see how it goes from there. The carrier bags are under the stairs to your left. Lucifer! What? They're gonna need one. You know how much of a train wreck this will be if we do it your way. My way is a tried and tested method. The success rate's so high that it has its own uh, official name. It's a psychological condition. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> the point is that when it works, our buddy here won't be alone anymore. Look at you and I. We certainly didn't like each other at first. I still don't like you now. I know. There's some warmth under that icy exterior. Just a bit longer in my company and we'll be besties in no time. Speaking of time, we're out of it. The bus just turned the corner. It'll be here soon. But it's not here yet. If we're quick, we can get out before it arrives. Yes, follow your heart and say something before it's too late. You've got this. I believe in you. Grab the bag before you go. For goodness sake, we're not kidnapping them. We... We're not kidnapping them. Right? Right? <laughs>